Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight Well, that was nice. I was letting the dogs out to go potty and um, look at the sunrise this morning. And our youngest grandson of David and Amy's came out running around the RV greeting me this morning. I love it. I love it. He just makes my day. But today I'm going to do, wow, something a little different. Um, I'm taking the refrigerator and the old refrigerator of David's and lawnmower into the junkyard. Um, I pulled trailers. This trailer is shorter than ours, but backing up has always been a challenge. So I'm going to do this on my own today. And then I'm going to come back and drop the trailer and go back into town. And I've got to go get new. My new glasses are in. My medications, the post office, all that fun stuff. Oh, mail off some packages. Um, so it's going to be kind of a busy day today. Today, I think it's supposed to start raining. Even though that was a beautiful sunrise, I think it's supposed to start raining today. Um, it feels really nice outside, though. Um, nice and warm, just a breeze. Um, had the window open. All actually had two windows open all last night in the bedroom with the fan in front of it, and it was wonderful. But um, if you can hear a motor running in the background, that is Mason. Mason is wanting to eat, so I better get him his food as my coffee is getting ready. Are you wanting your food, buddy? You want to eat? Do you? Huh? Are you hungry too? <coughs> really? <coughs> really? <coughs> See, I don't even know. <coughs> Oh my goodness. Mason does Nana talk because his loud mouth sister come in and do it. Right? I love that. Okay, here we go. That was fun. I could not believe how he just grabbed a hold of that refrigerator, ripped it right off. Uh, that worked out really well. I was nervous about backing because I'm horrible at backing, but he said, pull forward and he's gonna grab it off. So I'm like, Shh. But now I'm going to head probably to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Altoona and get my stuff done and then go back and just leave this trailer on the truck so tonight um david and i can take it back to his friends but here we go back to the RV. I went to Walmart, got my new glasses. They can see in all the time. They're not readers, so I can see long distance, but I also can read at the same time. 
I got all my packages mailed. I got my mail. Now I'm headed back to the RV and my plan is to, in the pasture, I'm gonna practice my backing. I know this is gonna be a little bit different because this is hooked to the bumper versus the fifth wheel being in the box. But I'm just gonna, since no one's around, I'm gonna play around and um, get more comfortable with it because every time I've done it before, I've been so nervous and I've been in front of people that just makes your anxiety go higher and then I just say, Ed, here you go. Well, now that um, Ed is not with me in the physical world, I need to learn how to do this. So while everybody's at work, kids are at school, I am going to practice my back and up. So hang on to your booty. I'm gonna, don't make fun of me too bad. I'm gonna show you what I have, um, how bad I do. Okay, here we go. Don't make fun of me. I just did my first backup. Um, when I first started out, I could tell I was going in the wrong direction. And it's really hard to see this trailer too um, with the toolbox on here and the dually. But I was able to get it straight. Let's take a look. Look at this. I got it straight. <laughs> I'm gonna set the camera down. I'm gonna go ahead and play around a little bit and practice. Hopefully these guys stay out of the way. I'm gonna play around number three. Something I learned while doing this was definitely need some more time for practice. But once I was able to get this out of the jackknife position, I was able to get it back in. However, I do need more practice and I've watched a few YouTube videos. So one thing, and I've known this for years, but I didn't quite comprehend it was, instead of having your hands on the top of the steering wheel, 
put them on the bottom. Whichever direction you want the trailer to go is which way you're going to put your hands.